Welcome, Taurus, to your oracle reading. And for you this week, I pulled number 11, Moose. Now, 11 is the number for synchronicity. So this is a week to pay attention to little signs, little details that will indicate that you are on the right path, that you're doing the right thing. So this is a great week to just pay attention to. Maybe you see 1111 11 on your phone. Maybe you see other repetitive numbers. Maybe there's a billboard that seems to answer your question just as you drive past it when you're thinking about something. Pay attention to the little signs and signals that will help put you onto the path that you are meant to be on this week. Now, moose medicine is self-esteem. So this is a great week to really pat yourself on the back, to focus on what you've accomplished. Now, if you haven't felt like you've accomplished anything, it's time to write down all the things that you have accomplished. Do you have a warm bed at night? Do you have a roof over your house? You know, do you have food in the pantry? Little things like that do matter, and those are accomplishments. So when you start small and making your list, you can see that it will grow quite big. And it is, in a lot of ways, a list of gratitude. And when you look at your accomplishments, that's what you should feel is a lot of gratitude to spirit, to creation, for having all this opportunity, all this abundance. So this is a week to really focus on what you have. Now for your mineral companion, I pulled this beautiful chevron amethyst. And this is amplified clear seeing. And so this is a week where you're going to see things very clearly. Things are going to be very obvious. You're going to know and be able to perceive the bigger picture very easily this week. But don't get too caught up in that because for your advice card, I pulled number 12, the coyote. Now 12 breaks down to 3, which is the number for growth. So you're going to be growing a lot this week, which means you're probably going to face challenges. It's challenges and hardships that really make us grow as individuals. And the coyote here is basically saying, laugh at yourself this week. Don't take yourself too seriously. This is not a week to get into the trenches and die on a hill. This is a week to just accept the things that you can't change and change the things that you can. Just focus on what you can do this week. Now for your clarifying card, I pulled number 28, Penelope Dream Reaver in reverse. 28 breaks down to one, which is a new fresh start. So there's a new beginning here, a new energy. And so something fresh is coming in. However, you may feel blocked creatively. Your dreams may feel blocked this week. This may feel like a week where you're just spinning your wheels. But what it really means is this is a week not to focus on what you don't have, but focus on what you do have. When you focus on what you do have, you grow that. So this is definitely a week to have that list of gratitude at hand that I usually talk about. Make a list of all the things that you are grateful for, all of the abundance that you have, all of your accomplishments, and really focus on that. And that list will grow. And this energy, this trickster energy of Coyote will release. But this is definitely a week to expect the unexpected. Know that you're just going to be turning your wheels. This is not going to be an easy week, but you will get through it. So I hope you enjoyed this oracle reading. I enjoyed giving it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thank you for joining me. Bye for now.